Hey guys, it's Jonae. I'm back with another tutorial finally. I showed y'all this look today and I did go a little crazy on my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight. I love pink champagne. What can I say? I need to incorporate it into everything I do because that's how much I love it. But I hope y'all enjoy the look and if y'all want to see what I created then you should keep on watching. So hey guys, Johnny here. I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just going to use that to prime my eyelids. Just like a pea size amount. And I'm just going to take that and put it on both of my eyes. And just like all over my eyes because it's clear so it's fine. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. And I'm going to use this to do the whole look today. So first I'm going to take that light shade Soft Peach and just use that to set that um, eyeshadow, uh, the primer, then I'm going to use Morocco in my crease. It's really like the prettiest transi transition color for my skin tone, so it's great. And it helps if you look down into a mirror. That way you can see how your eyeshadow is going to look like when you look down. That's what I always do, so yeah. It's good for crease work. And I'm just going to go and do my other eye. Just blend and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. And blend some more. Blend till we can't blend no more. Then I'm going to take an e.l.f. number C brush. Number C. And I'm going to take Noor, which is the black in the palette. And I'm going to use that color to put on that black on my eyelid so I'm just gonna put that all over my eye and since I have hooded eyes I'm actually gonna put it a little bit abrupt above my crease so you can be actually be able to see the color because like I don't want to close I don't want to open my eye and it's like gone so just a tiny tiny bit above my crease and it is going to look a little harsh at first because we haven't blended it out yet and if your black isn't as pigmented you can use an eyeliner under it but the um, Anastasia Black is pretty pigmented, so I really don't worry about that too much. Yeah. Then I'm going to take Fudge, which is just like a chocolatey brown color. And I'm going to put that like in my crease and in my outer V. I'm going to use that to blend out those harsh lines. So that black isn't looking so harsh against my skin. And we can actually get a smoky eye and not a cut crease. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, so I'm just going to blend for my life real quick. Just, it's going to take forever. I'm going to skip through it because I know y'all don't want to see all that. But just know, blend it out of black smoky eyes is not a joke. So, be patient. Always be gracious. Best for Avengers, your paper. Uh, yeah, so just be patient and it will all come together eventually. <laughs> like, it looks a little crazy at first. You're like, oh no, I look like I have a black eye, but no. It's one of those things, smoky eyes are one of those things that it looks worse before it looks better. So, just keep blending, just keep blending, 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 just keep blending. Then now I'm looking like a bombshell. You see that shit? Damn, that took forever though. See, I'm still going, still going. But like, damn, smoke, smoke gay. Okay, so now I put my regular face makeup on. And we're going to go in with some mascara. This mascara is actually my favorite. The wand has like a little comb on it. So it's like extra cool. And then I'm going to go in with an angle brush. Any angle brush. This is the Kylie one. And I'm going to use Noor again. And I'm going to tight line and put it in like my lower on my bottom lash line. So I can um, smoke my bottom lash line out. It's not necessary, but it does just kind of bring the whole look together. So I'm just using that angle brush to place Noor. And I'm going to grab another brush to um, actually just go and blend it out. I'm just going to paste that. And so I'm taking a MAC brush. And you can take Morocco or Fudge. It doesn't really matter which one. 
and it's just whatever kind of look you want if you want more brown or more of that ready orange color so just take that under your lash line and just keep blending until you get the desired amount of smoke and then just take your mascara and put that on your bottom lash line and we are almost done i mean this could be your finished look if you want you know because sometimes this is my finished look but not till i'm done not till i'm done yeah and so i just um poked myself in the eye with that one yeah it's vicious so yeah then i'm gonna take pink champagne which is my favorite color it's like a sparkly metallic color and i'm gonna take a lot of it on my brush and i'm gonna wet it with some fix plus and literally that makes it like super super metallic and like you don't you guys don't have to do this i just wanted to try it because i'm doing a video so why not be extra and i loved it obvi and so i'm like hey why not put on my brow bone even though like if you're not my complexion maybe don't put pink champagne on your brow bone because it is actually like pink as fuck but like it kind of works a little bit on me and so i'm now gonna take mac touch lipstick and put that on one that was in my top five mac lipsticks if you haven't seen it i'll put a card in so you can watch it it's just a pretty like nudie color like it's literally like my lips like my lips but better that's the only way i can describe it and then i'm gonna take mark jacobs pretty thing lip gloss and just put that right on top of that touch and I'm just going to dot it on there because this lip gloss is kind of pigmented. So I didn't want it to be like the color of the lip gloss. I still wanted touch to come through. So, yeah. And Like liquor, John A. All on his mouth like liquor. John A. All on his mouth like liquor. 